morning, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Angeles Forest. This should be neat. I've never driven a first generation rabbit before, and so this is Mike. Thank you for coming. Uh, Thanks for having me. And it, the, the, the fact that you're German really helps the experience <laughs> overall. Uh, tell me about your rabbit. This thing is cool. Yeah. Well, it's it's a 1980 uh, U.S. built rabbit, which was built in, in Pennsylvania, Westmoreland. Uh, Volkswagen plant, um, which uh, yeah was the only manufacturing in the United States back then, and uh, yeah, it's one of a few square headlights, and um, and mostly stock. Mostly stock, engine stock, transmission stock, four-speed manual, and uh, the basically the only only thing is changed is the, the suspension setup. Um, wheels and tires. And you made and flares on your body a little bit. No, you, no, no, it's absolutely stuck. That's stuck. The, the whole it looks like yeah. that's flared. No, oh. it's the complete body is stuck. Okay, yeah. so just wheels, tires, ne and suspension. Yeah, huh? and never been resprayed. Original paint, mostly. Mostly <laughs> original rust. <laughs> original rust. All yeah. right, so four-speed car. Yeah, four-speed. All right, let's uh, let's see what this thing will do. All right, how much how much power is this thing like? Well, when it was when it was new, it was 76 horsepower. Uh, but I detuned it a little bit. Why would you detune a 76 horsepower well, car? Well, for 76 horsepower, it needed premium gas, and uh, I mean that's just a waste of money, right? <laughs> so it's a little bit detuned. Uh, so it, should, it runs on 87 now. Yeah, yeah. And it, I mean it's still uh, pretty nippy. I mean it's a light car, 1750 pounds. Oh, it's super which light. Is, which is ridiculous lighter. Yeah, even lighter than the 914 I just drove, which is 1900. Yeah, uh, even lighter than a, a, a torn out Miata. So it's, it's a really light car. Wow, really direct steering. It's it's such a box. It's so, <laughs> yeah. From the driver's seat, it's even more square than it is from outside. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's very square. The shifter's nice and direct, though. Yeah, that's a short shifter kit, uh, tectonic short shifter kit. It uh, works. Works good. Yeah, it's a 50% uh, short shift. That's 50% yeah. reduction. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's it's pretty. I mean, the, the the Yokohama tires are pretty sticky. I mean, it has understeer, of course. Yeah. But uh, uh, they're not too bad. It's like a 1.8 or 1. It's a 1.6. Yeah. yeah. But right. it has the, the fuel injection, the mechanical uh, fuel injection, they're called k -Jetronic and, Oh yeah, and Bosch k -Jetronic. Yeah, yeah, or CIS in the my, States. My DeLorean had that Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, it's not known for being good, is it? No. <laughs> and it's known for uh, getting, it's pretty difficult to get spare parts. Yeah. Uh, when the, the get, little piss by Mr. Stuff. X1? Oh, there's nowhere to pull off, I don't blame him. But, <laughs> no. I mean, okay, it clearly was not meant for someone my size, but the small steering wheel does help yeah. a lot. It's not it's it's not uncomfortable though. It's it's a pretty comfortable car for even the back seat seems kind of roomy. Yeah, I mean it is a bit stiff, but I drove it with four people, no problem, it doesn't rub or anything. I mean it I didn't slam it. So the, it's not a uh, slam car. The, it's like such a nice like airy greenhouse. The visibility yeah. is so good. Yeah, that, that's why I like classic cars. I mean that there's yeah. that the A pillar is not much thicker than then two of my fingers yeah. basically, right? No, and you and up here it's so beautiful. Yeah. You get the uh, the views. My friend Larry, who is a famous detailer now, AmmoNYC.com. One of yep. his first cars was the diesel version of this, the diesel Rabbit. Yeah. It was the worst car ever. I mean, let, let's face it. it uh, was so uh, slow. The Rabbit. There was a reason why why they stopped building them in the United States. They were pretty shit. Let's yeah. let's be honest. I mean, the, the I mean you can hear the rattling all around. The the, 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 Ger buy? the German Mark ones were pretty decent built cars, even back in the 70s, late 70s. But the U.S. ones. But the U.S. Not the US so ones, good. yeah, they, they fiddled with the suspension. They raised the rise the ride height up. Uh, uh, they were, it made them softer. So they had the, the early 80s bumper height requirements. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, they ruined. A whole bunch of cars doing that. Yeah, and of course they had the, the eight miles per hour bumpers. Yeah, which made it a bit hideous. So those are tucked here. I mean, it still and looks like an American style. Mile an hour speedometer. Eighty-five yeah. miles. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. Yeah, that's an early. When, when I when I got the car first right. day, I, I maxed it right away. Not everybody can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I want to go the other way because yeah. I don't want to sit behind this guy. Uh oh, we're going in front of these motorcycles. They're Harleys, though. We'll get away. Yeah, uh, no problem. Even with 76 yeah. horsepower, 
we're gonna get away from the Harley. <laughs> It's a, uh, There's two Harleys behind us that <laughs> collectively weigh more than this car. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I've a, been full throttle for a minute though. Do I need to watch any gauges or anything weird? Is there? Any, am I worried no. about anything? No. That's so fine. you can just cane this thing yeah. all day, every yeah. day, right? I mean, the thing is, you have to drive momentum based, right? right. I mean, it's, there's no torque. What it's option? 82.82.7 the pound foot of torque. Uh, it's barely anything, and uh, yeah, the brakes are pretty bad as well. You will notice. Oh, that's, thanks for telling me now. No, downhill gravity assist is doing yeah, us wonders. Exactly, yeah. It has really good steering feel. I actually don't like it. It's way more uh, indirect steering than it is in, in the European cars. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, because someone's got to bring me a Euro Golf. Yeah. Does anyone bother importing the Euro ones? I, not really I don't think it. the problem is that they, there are not many survivors in Europe yeah. because of rust. They, they used uh, really, really cheap uh, steel back then. So it was partially Russian steel. Uh, they had a trade with, with, uh, with the Soviet Union back then. Uh, they uh, basically they traded spare parts and got steel uh, steel panels from the from oh, Russia. Interesting. And the steel was and terrible. And the steel was terrible, yeah. It had, uh, way too much carbon there. and rust like. Cold War Russian yeah, steel. Big exactly. surprise. Oh, this thing is cool, Mike. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I, need, I, I love need some it. Seats to hold me in. Yeah, stock seats, not not really. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not really true, much yeah. bolstering happening. I, I mean, uh, it, I I kind of like them, but they're a not very comfortable, and they have. The problem they, is with, with that seat belt; it doesn't help at all. Yeah, there's no yeah. lap belt. Yeah, it's, exactly. sh it's chest only. It's a cornering speed limited by butts. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's good that it's cloth. It's got some grip. If it yeah, was it is, leather, yeah. Yeah. you need slide. Yeah, the, 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 the vinyl you would have ended up in my lap right away. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so fun. The wheelbase is like nothing. Yeah. So you can just you just throw it back and forth. It's great. Those Harleys are long gone from our <laughs> our rear view. Oh yeah, and it still got stays flat. It, does, it, it yeah, it does. Yeah, it grips. It grips amazing, and it doesn't even have anti roll bars at all. At all, <laughs> none, <laughs> none whatsoever. I mean, the thing is so light. There's almost no way to pull it. Uh, uh, does this have four wheel discs or drums? In the no rear? drums in the rear. Yeah, we're not gonna get fancy. Slingshot. <laughs> Slingshot. Yeah. Yeah. No way to look cool in one of those. <laughs> one, one, one flyby. Whee! Dude, this thing has so much grip. It's yeah, great. I mean, it's it's set up basically for autocrossing. Yeah. Do you autocross with it? No. Uh, the, the problem is, uh, I I think the steering is way too slow still for autocross. So the steering angle input, I mean, you're almost the at 90 degrees yeah, already. Yeah, that's true. The yeah. smaller wheel gives you the illusion. Yeah, of, exactly. Yeah. That's why I put the smaller wheel in. Yeah. I have a Nardi, uh, uh, 400 millimeter, oh, which is just biggie. ridiculous. Yeah, big, that's yeah. a biggie. Wait, where is that? The, oh man. The seatbelt gets really tensioned, I'm like choking up a bit. I was looking for a good U-turn spot here. This car is, oh, there, there it was. Um, this thing is so cool. It's I super love fun. the interior to yeah. it, like it's so like original 80s. Yeah. Oh, it's well, I mean, at the interior there was nothing left basically. The car was sitting outside for 12 years. So did you remake the whole interior? Uh, I bought it like that, actually. The, the, the guy, the previous owner, he had a dent shop in, uh, uh, in close to Fresno and uh, he never fixed the dents on the car but uh, he did fix the interior which is funny. <laughs> the dent guy has yeah. a fully dented up yeah. car oh, that's, fully dented that up makes a lot of sense yeah. I know those kinds of people so basically what I needed to do is the, the clutch when I bought the car clutch was gone the drive shaft broke right away when I drove it back to, <laughs> north, to the north way and uh, even though it was put in just a couple of hours beforehand it just were gone and all the well, bushings were worn out, so basically the whole suspension is redone. It's remarkably sorted right now. It is, yeah. yeah it handles really nice, yeah. It's cool. I like it a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I gotta find, we need to find a, like a mid-80s GTI. I want to do one of those. I haven't done one of those yet. That's so. what I was looking for. I was looking for an 84 GTI actually, and then I went for this one. They're tough because to find, looks, right? Looks the GTI. Not that tough as this one is. The rabbits are Yeah, the, the, the uh, small taillight rabbits are way harder to find. I mean, oh. they're, they're just rusted away. 
That was so cool. Thanks, Mike. That You're was welcome. great. Thanks for bringing it up. Thank and it's not that me. slow. I need to take this out. This is <laughs> choking me. It's not that slow. It's the tie for. I think the 914 might be a little quicker. I think it's a little yeah, quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's that, normal power. It's I think your car is a little quicker. <laughs> a little bit. But. This is uh, this was lovely. Thank you so much for letting me have okay, it going. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Check out Mike's wheel well. You got to see the detail on this thing. The, the rest of the interior, it's uh, it's great stuff. And I think did you lacquer over the yeah. rust to keep yeah. it from looking like the, uh, yeah. to keep it looking the way it is? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's so it's good... basically original paint. There's no bondo on the car at all. Yeah, whatsoever. Rust no, with clear coat piece. over it. Just rust with clear coat. Yeah. That's great, man. Thank you so much, and thank you guys for thanks, watching. Man. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.